Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and this is going to be a pretty basic one. I did cover it for Unity 4, but it's about changing scene on a trigger or on a collision um, within your game. Now, I've seen that a few people have been actually struggling with it, so I'll help you by going through the, the basics again and doing it through in Unity 5. So what I've got is got a new scene, just as you would start a level. You've got a main camera, directional light. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the main camera because we don't need it anymore. You want to bring in the standard assets and you want um, characters. To bring those in, you can right click, import package and import the characters package. If not, you can download them from the Unity Asset Store and then import them in that way. So from your standard assets, we want a the characters, first person controller or first person character and then we want to bring in the FPS controller so what we can do is we can pull that in drag it in and you'll notice that this FPS controller has audio source it's a rigid body so we need to make sure that it has one of those on to detect collisions and it's not currently tagged anything so we want to tag that player um, because it's good it's useful when it's tagged player for when we do collisions now what I'm going to then do is go game object 3D object and create a quad. Now you can create a plane, but I like to create a quad because it is not as many um, polygons. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale this up really big. And then what I'm going to do is add my material to it so we can so it's got a good contrast now. Then what we're going to do is also then game object. 3D object, then we want a cube. Now we've got a cube in our scene. You can press W to go, go to the move key. I like to press F to zoom in. Now and again, I'll just bring that up. And what we can do is we can scale this up so it's going to be along here, so we're going to be easily be able to walk through this collider, and this is going to be our trigger. So there we've placed the trigger. Oh, it's not really a trigger yet. So what we want to make sure we do is that on the our box collider, we want to make sure that it's set to is trigger. Because when we walk into it, we want to be able to detect the collision. So we're going to write a really basic script, which is going to control um, moving to a different scene. So what I'm going to do is right click, create a new JavaScript, and I'm going to call this move scene. And what I'm going to do is then open up in mono develop. And then what I'm going to do here is I'll delete the two starting function. We need to write another function called on trigger enter. And then in brackets, call, call on collider. You may have seen me do this before. It's pretty much identical to Unity 4's version. If call dot, we want to, I, want, I like to use compare tag. And then in brackets and then in quotes player, you can use... Um, the double equals, but this one technically is more efficient at finding tags. And then we want to put two brackets on the end, add two curly brackets below there, and say application dot load level, and then open brackets. And what we want to write in here is maybe new scene, and then we'll close that up and use a semicolon. Now below the um, Pragma script where we usually write our variables. We want to write a variable and we'll call this new C. And as that is type string with a capital. Now, sometimes it might l make that lowercase. So what we want to do is make sure that it's uppercase so you can see it change color. And we'll save that. And if it does um, moan about anything, we want to just convert anything that it's talking about. Then when we go back into Unity, what we can do is on our collider, so we can put this as our, we'll rename this as collider, so then we'll see it. What we could do is we can add the script, and it's got a script, and it's got a place to add a new scene in. So what I want to do is I will save this scene out currently, and I will call this scene 1. So there, scene one saved, and what I want to do is I'll create a new scene, which is blank, which only has a main camera, and you can see it just looks out into space. And then what we'll do is we can save as, and we'll call this scene two. So you can see them both down there. What I want to do is open scene one back up. I can select this object again, and in new scene, I can add 
scene two in there, just write it in. So you can use this script over and over and only have to change that sort of um, level name. Then we go file, build settings, and we want to add technically both scene one and scene two in there. And then once we try and play, we will be playing the game and we'll walk into that collider and we'll move scenes. So if you look back at it, all we're doing is we're setting a string which we can input, which is a word or a series of um, characters that we can put together to make something. And we're just checking that the tag that we've got within our game, and we made sure that the first person controller had a tag of player and we move scene quite easily. And you can do this, you could create another cube, say here, and have the same script on it's got exactly the same script I'll change this to we'll move to scene 3 and if I go back on the other object that's still scene 2 so you can use it as many times as you want to move to different scenes so really that's just the um, really simplistic way to move scenes on a trigger in unity 5 so hopefully that ironed out anybody's issues and thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers